And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Teamer Proliferate. That's what we're starting the day off with today. We got three cool donation decks that we're going to be playing today. Uh, we're only got, we only got three decks instead of four because we're starting a little late. Uh, we finished up the historic uh, challenge today. Uh, I know we didn't really get to, to play it fully on stream. Um, and so didn't record it for YouTube for those of y'all watching over there. So I'm sorry about that. But good news, we did get to seven wins. Unfortunately, only got to seven wins, even though I started six and oh. But anyway, um, so we got we got the two new sleeves. We got the treasure hunt sleeve and the guy's cradle sleeve. You can kind of see the guy's cradle sleeve a little bit here. That's the sleeve we're going to be using for our first deck today. But yeah, this is a pretty crazy one. This is um <laughs> thanks, Neojima. Um this is um, unban. There we go. Remove that. Um, so this is a Fires of Invention deck, first and foremost. Like that's going to be a really important card for us to find, and because of that, that's why we have four Shimmer of Possibility and four Narset to Parter Avails. Really going to try to find that Fires of Invention, because our deck is is kind of slower and it also has a high curve. Uh, we really want to be double spelling in the mid game you know turn four five six we really want to be double spelling and we want to have fires of invention as far as we're a pro proliferate deck because we got flux channeler in here um flux channeler uh so whenever we cast our non-creature spells we're proliferating um and uh the reason like the reason why that that proliferate work uh works really well for us is we got all these planeswalkers so you know tons and tons of planeswalkers each time we get to proliferate you know, each time we cast a non-creature spell, we're proliferating. Each time we do that, we get to put all the counters on the Planeswalkers. Nissa, in particular, works incredibly well with um, with proliferate. We're not really we're not really trying to like really care about you know having a bunch of forests and adding a ton of mana. That's not really that important. You can see we're only playing seven forests even in our deck. Um, but yeah, you know, like we can turn our lands into three threes. But then it, whenever we proliferate, then those lands become 4-4s four and so on. And we can start going towards Nyssa's ultimate. Uh, we also have Plain White Celebration is a big time proliferate card that we can cast this and we can even just proliferate four times. Um, we have a few Planeswalkers that are very good um, with ultimates with proliferating with like the Nickel Bolas, uh, which we're only casting if we have fires. And uh, Royal Scions with a minus eight. And of course, the Nyssa with a minus eight. Those are all creatures that we, or sorry, planeswalkers that we want to ultimate with our proliferation. All right, so that's what our deck's about. It's going to be a little, little bit on the slower side. We'll see if we can survive and get to do some really, really cool stuff. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Three tenth, you you won four and then won three. Didn't quite get that five win. Yeah, that. Yeah, I definitely wanted that five win. We, you, yeah, we'd have to have three of the Planeswalker lands in play to be able to cast Bolas, because you have to add two different colors of mana with Interplanar Beacon, and so you could add black plus another color with, with one of them, and then you could have another one that adds black plus another color, and another one that had, adds black plus another color. So you'd ha we'd have to have six lands in play and as well as um as well as three of the interplanar beacons to cast nickel bola so probably not a, a scenario that happens too often but it is a scenario that could happen well i was just going to be only like real you know obviously i just wanted to get lands with these but fires of invention is the one card that we'll take instead of a land so that's the only one that we would Boo. <laughs> Should have got rid of it. Hmm.
<clears throat> it's like Flux Channeler or Royal Scions. Let's just get the Channeler in play because we are a... We are a Proliferate deck, right? Let's do the whole Proliferate stuff. Yay. Every story is an opportunity for me. Give us back. I have learned much from my ancestors. The thing about di not discarding Tamio is that Tamio can bring back whatever you choose. They're gonna block. Basically makes them um makes them tap out and I think I'm okay with that. Um Stream Decker. It looks like I did not get up Stream Decker. Or, sorry, Deck Master. Deck Master. I did not get Deck Master available. What do I want to find? Alright, Deck Master should be working now. All right, one second, I got a call I got to take. In this land, we are all connected to the library. Nature's true power.
never forgotten. Okay. No. What what is going on with Twitch chat now? What are y'all doing? No. Knocker, no, I've I have nothing to do with that company anymore. There's no reason to bring up that company. I'm just gonna keep it the same for the next the next one. Um Mr. Denk, yes, you were you were very good. Um You're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, Vantress Gargoyle. That's something a little different. So this can't start attacking unless we have seven or more cards in our graveyard, which isn't the hardest thing to, to get to. See, already getting there. Unfortunately, it looks like we had that Fire Zone Invention as our next card. Unfortunately. What happened? That was just, it was my accountant. It was just my, my tax accountant that I 
that is that is also just really really busy and I haven't been able to get a hold of much and so he was calling me and so I I really need to take it cuz I am you know just getting my taxes for last year filed and everything before uh being you know getting that all taken care of before uh the house loan so I have to get that done right away so that, that's all that was so he just needs me to find a a couple like two more forms that I'll find after stream tonight. Hmm. This gargoyle is going to be a problem. Certainly considering just playing Royal Scions and ticking up with the plus two and attacking in and trying to win a race. And honestly, maybe that was a better line. Every day is a new lesson. Maybe that's the line I'm supposed to be taking. Oh, no, I meant... No, I, I mean, I was clicking no attacks. Anyway, sorry. No, yeah, you're right, Yud. Yeah, no, like that, that card could be very good for quasi-duplicate. Oh, my gosh, they didn't just block with Knight of the Ebon Legion? <laughs> yes, we did play the Historic Challenge. Uh, we did that at the beginning of the stream, that's why we're kind of starting a little late, or at least we finished it up. And you can see we, you know, we got the wins, we got the Guy's Cradle sleeves, so we got the brand new Guy's Cradle sleeves, so that's pretty awesome. Not sure why they didn't attack with the gargoyle, to be honest. Hmm, that's not good. I definitely wanted to have Tamio go grab Fires of Invention for me. Oh, come on. We are the future. Can't really attack through this Knight of the Ebon Legion. Alright, so, so activating this once turns it into a 5-6. So need to activate it twice. If I block with Bone Crusher and the 2-2, two -two, they'd have to activate twice. I could triple block, and they can't save Knight of the Ebon Legion. 
But they're also at 16. I could try to race. Yuck. I don't really like any of my options. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With my sister by my side, I do not fear the unknown. No, do this. Come on. Harness the elements. Knights of the realm. Join my cause. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill the gargoyle. Instead of doing the five upstairs. We just did the five upstairs. I had lethal there. Oh, right, because the gargoyle just can't block it all. Right. Just yeah, so I just didn't have to play the the Royal Scions and do the five damage of the Royal Scions. I just animate the land, and I do the extra, and I make them both just do proliferate four times. Um, so that's seven, fourteen, eighteen. Yeah, yep. I f I forgot about the gargoyle not being able to block. To be honest, I forgot. I didn't I didn't think about that.
Sorry. A lot of stuff going on. But I forgot about that. Alright, but we got our first one. That was a pretty exciting game. Alright, let's keep another Bone Crusher Giant. Looks like we're probably going to need those. Got rid of the cutthroats. That's pretty big. Blue-red. Hopefully I don't regret getting rid of that beacon. Alright, Guru, have a good night. No, I've never heard of that, Samantha. Alright, so we can double spell with Giant and Narset. Um... Don't think... Chandler does a whole lot for us right now. Opponent's in a pretty rough spot. You know, bouncing Bone Crusher Giant, that's pretty rough. Kind of wish I would have had that interplanar, inter, interplanar beacon about now. I 
am Tamiyo. It is an honor to meet you. The storied past holds our future. Yeah, uh, yeah, HV. Yep, there you go. Yeah, the the place to watch the replays is on YouTube. Um, that's yeah, that's what I recommend. Uh, YouTube has the videos broken down by deck and everything. It's it's better than the the Twitch vods that that are muted. Harbinger, Harbinger of the tides. With the sub. Thank you so much there. A brand new tier one sub. Our fifth sub of the day. Oh, back on us. All right, so they're just attacking us. Trying to win this race. Meditate and prepare. Ooh, plain white celebration. So with, before that Chandra, my plan for this turn was going to be to play Nessa, and if they, you know, if they counter that, then you know we'd still have the Bone Crusher Giants and everything like that. Best way to destroy things. Dang, should have grabbed that, should have kept that interplanar beacon. Spectral Sailor did tons of damage, but yeah, should it should have not tucked that interplanar beacon. Regretted that. All right, more instant speed removal, more Chandra, less Ugin, less. Uh, I, I don't regret not doing minus three, Chandra. I don't think that I, I'm supposed to trade my Bone Crusher Giant for their 1 1 at that point. Taking out Sarkin because of their ability to bounce the 4-4. I know Nickel Bolts doesn't do anything unless I have fires, which may be this kind of matchup, like where you have to resolve a fires and then also resolve a Nickel Bolus. That could be more difficult. Flux Chandler is very vulnerable to Bone Crusher Giant, which isn't a great spot to be either, and I just brought in a whole bunch of Flame Sweeps. Also play a couple flux channelers.
The problem with Lovestruck Blocker is it's really only a blocker against... I guess it's a blocker against two cards. It's not a blocker against very much. There's 25 lands in the deck. So it's... It's not a lot. It's a little scared of hitting land drops. Kind of expecting my opponent to have their own Bone Crusher Giant in hand that's just going to kill this Flux Chandler, grow the Brian Born Cutthroat, and so on. Since they didn't have a counter spell for fires. But I don't think that means that I just don't play Flux Chandler if that's going to be the case. Oh, or they could have Brazen Barber to bounce to set up an I and I's. If I don't play the Fires of Invention, then of course they get to play the Brazen Borrower. Um, which could make my life pretty difficult with Chandra. Because then at that point, if I play Chandra the next turn at minus three to try to kill both of these, this Brineborn Cutthroat would be able to... Like, all they have to do is play any instant, and they could make that a 5-4, and then my minus three doesn't kill them. So, obviously this Spyglass is just... Devastating. Ready, Will? By your side, I am always ready. My answers lie in the cold truth. Proliferate. No attacks.
Zack. Chandra. Oh wait, no, no. Chandra still spyglass. Uh, I mean, flame sweep kills my flux Chandler anyway. The thing is, is do I want to kill? I will learn what nobody yet. Knows. Do I want to kill Cutthroat or Borrower with Bone Crusher Giant? I kind of feel like I want to kill Borrower. Because it's a flyer that I can't ever block or deal with. I mean, it's not like the Flame Sweep's really helping me out too much. I mean, it. I mean, I guess I, I would get to chump block with Channeler and then Flame Sweep and then kill the Brazen Borrower. Maneuver into position. Then charge them. I have just the trick for this. Hmm. Thank you, Penguin. Glad you enjoyed the review and everything. Sorry about uh, Iron Scale Hydra. But yeah, thank you. are worth cataloging. All right, cool. We're just going to be able to get this game. Um, Iron Scale Hydra, where did it go? I guess I don't I don't know what Iron Scale Hydra is. I could just type it in. Okay, so it's it's a planeswalker deck card. So yeah, it is it is in you know Theros and everything. It's just a planeswalker deck card. But it's not part of the actual set. It's not. Yeah, so it's not part of the actual set. But it's going to be, you know, you'll be able to play it in standard and everything like that. Well, Flux Channeler was pretty sweet there.
Theme Booster exclusive. So yeah. That's the new Planeswalker deck, Planeswalker, I guess. Theme Booster exclusive. So there you go, yeah. So it's going to be in standard. As far as getting it on Arena, that means you'll basically just have to use... Um, you have to use wild cards to make them... Uh, you know, like they're not going to be available in packs. Yeah, we, we debated between possibility or growth spiral. We went with possibility instead of growth spiral because of the importance of finding fires of invention. But yeah, you could have growth spiral instead. Um, also don't have like, with only having 25 lands, we don't really have like a huge excess of lands that we'll be able to... Um, be played pretty easily. I mean, I'd rather play Nicol Bolas if we know it's going to resolve. But it's just kind of risky because you need the Fires of Invention to resolve and then the Bolas to resolve also. Or Nissa can just be a Nissa. Honestly, maybe we should just grab the fifth land. That was the absolute worst case scenario, was cut, cutthroat into quench. <clears throat> that was the absolute worst case scenario. Come on, I should have just grabbed the land. Hey, Guava. Um, how does this deck work? Um, yeah, I mean, we're just using just all sorts of Planeswalkers and Proliferate. It's not just, you know, play Bolas and Proliferate them to Ultimate. It, you can really Proliferate anything to, to Ultimate. Um, or just, you know, Proliferate your Planeswalkers. Pro, you know, have Nissa out here making a bunch of lands that you Proliferate. We're going to hopefully draw land and be able to play the Chandra. I don't really like where I'm at here, though. Against that, you know, five cards in hand now because of the Gadwick. Yeah. Don't really like where I'm at here now at all.
Deckmaster is up. You may need, I guess you may need to refresh your stream, but yeah, it's up. Yep, they got us. I needed to grab that land. Why play the cutthroat first? I needed to grab the land earlier. That was my... With the shimmer of possibility, I need to grab the land. We had four lands at the time. My opponent missed their second land drop. I grabbed a spell, but we didn't we didn't draw. I got every card after that was a spell for a while. And that hurt. Um Maybe if I just jammed spells also as soon as you know, turn three, just start jamming Bone Crusher Giants at turn three. Could have maybe been different there, too. Two things that could have maybe done differently. Hey, Simba. Do I need to grab the team or proliferate? Let's keep it. It's a proliferate card. That's what our deck's about. I guess I'm going to need red mana. I did, Nuga Grizz. Yes, I did. Any meta decks without a real money investment? Not... Not really. It's not... It's not, like, real possible to, to start playing a bunch of meta decks with no money investment. Right, get rid of this flyer. Of course, we would like to draw land for Nissa. Oh, nice, Oracles. Nice. At least not not like early on. Like you're like it takes time to build up a metagame deck with no money investment. It, it's just a, it's a time investment.
They can keep their Boros Challenger alive by activating it. Oh, well, they just have that. Good hand. Good hand. I liked our chances of stabilizing after this turn, even if they activated their Boros Challenger, but... Um, I didn't. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, sorry, this song is The Strokes Someday. I think you, we wanted the the previous song that was listen to the music by the doobie brothers the reason why i took out the flux chandler which you know does take out the pro proliferate card is because of flame sweep No lands in there. Well, at least good thing this isn't that isn't just growth spiral. It would have just been sitting on, you know, not drawing a land forever. Um, opponent doesn't look to be in too great of a spot right now. They probably have a bunch of red-white cards in their hand with all mountains. I guess that's what it looks like. Royal Scions works pretty good nice with Fires of Invention. Looting away these extra ones that we don't need. That is pretty nice. And Nissa has the Stomping Ground at two mana, so we get that one extra mana in there. Make sure they don't get to like sure strike a banneret to block my land and kill my land. Hey Azraoth. No, yeah, I'm I am all good. We started the stream kind of later today because of finishing up the historic challenge. And so we just have three decks because of that. Um, I'll play Ugin instead of Nicol Bolas for this matchup. There you go, Storm. Yep, got out Chandra and Nissa together. Same turn. No tax. Oh dang, I'm sorry to hear that storm. Your friend's car just got stolen? That's rough. Well, 
That's rough. Yeah, my opponent decided to go second. Get that extra card. Hey, Trummy. Welcome from Denmark. Um, I like I like the look of the new cards. They look enjoyable to play. And, and yeah, I'm excited about them. I will steady your mind, Rowan, and I will. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Mm -hmm. Card's pretty scary. I mean, it's it's definitely sure strike in hand. I guess I just get it out of their hands. Or it's not sure strike. It's coil. Alright, I'll take that. Let me synthesize the facts. Witness the ties that bind the gold. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Don't want them to really coil my land, to be honest. Dagger sail, aerial knot. If it's your turn, it has flying. Um Rise, my elemental friend. Still a proliferate deck. Always proliferating. to finish each other's what attack already never not proliferate All right, two and one. Oh yeah, Messiah, the, the person that donated for Soul Tire Reclaimer, I can change that, decided to switch their donation deck to be Jun Sacrifice instead. So I'll update the title. I forgot about that with it, those in the title. All right, change that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's teamer. It's teamer. Don't don't worry about nickel bullets being in our teamer deck. We 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 can't ever cast it, so it's not like you know we can't cast it without fire's invention. So basically, teamer.
Flux Channeler. Flux Channelering. Some awesome proliferate stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would not tell Nickel Bolas he's not invited to the plain white celebration if he if he wants to be. I agree that Bolas looks super scary. Oh, this is a natural innkeeper deck. I need that Bone Crusher Giant. Can we get that back, please? Bone Crusher Giant back from aisle five. Fires. Yeah. So they could use Bone Crusher Giant to kill my Narset, but that means they're not killing my Flux Channeler. Oh wait, why would I even kill that Edgewall Innkeeper with me having Narset in play that shuts down the Innkeeper from drawing cards? I kind of forgot about that. I guess I could have just played the Channeler. But then if I play the Channeler, then they... Hmm. And they bone crusher giant to kill. I don't really want to discard any of these, to be honest. Courage is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the I guess I could discard Casmina. Learn what nobody yet knows. Cause I think I want to go Channeler Sarkin next turn. Yeah. Channeler proliferate Scions ult real fast. Like next turn, like we'll be able to play the second Channeler, then play Sarkin. Ult we can ult uh, Royal Scions next turn. Now we're playing through the Constructed League where you pay your 1,000 gold and uh, we'll you know play till you win two or till you lose two or win five. We got the guy's cradle sleeves from earlier today, though. That's good. Boo. Boo, Brazen Borrower.
Brazen Borrower is just, you know, it's just uh, it's just basically just taking an extra turn. That's all they're doing is they're just canceling out my whole next turn. I played the deck with Abzan Bugler. Or I played the historic event, the historic challenge event with Abzan Bugler. My last, my previous turn. And ill refined. Definitely hoping they don't have another Brazen Borrower. They do have infinite cards. <laughs> yeah, Kasmina is not Kasmina is not spectacular, but yeah, it, but yeah, you get yeah, it's like a four mana two two. You, know, you can kind of think of it as like a, a four mana two two that loots and brings the planeswalker body along with it. I hope they have like four lands in hand. Never mind. We're dead. All right, so farmer, have a good night. Correct. Yeah, like whenever you cast the Planeswalker, you don't get to proliferate that that Planeswalker. Of the 
Go get him. So potentially we could, you know, proliferate a whole lot with two flux channelers in play, you know, casting a shimmer and casting a fire zone invention next turn. We get ultimate royal scions, but obviously they they get a turn. They get, you know, play a land, they have nine mana. I assume they're gonna go put Brazen Borrow into their hand. Probably they probably didn't want to tap all of their red sources. I'm assuming they wanted Bone Crusher Giant and Brazen Borrower. And they wanted to play those two. They could just have another mountain in hand, but I hope not. Uh, Beanstalk. All right, well, Beanstalk is just free, so. How many basic lands do you think they play? Like, are they running out of basics? I mean, that's 11 basics right now. Like, would another Beanstalk Giant, maybe they wouldn't have enough basics anymore? But I guess if that if they bounce both if they bounce both dragons, then they get to kill my Sarkin. Or not. Sarkin passive ability, thank you. And game. GG's. Uh, I guess I don't really need to do anything else. They're at 12. Might demands power. I think their turn would have been a whole lot better if they grabbed Bone Crusher Giant also. And Bone Crusher Giant plus Brazen Borrower. <laughs> yeah, we won. We had no business winning, but we won. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, am I supposed to just play a bunch of Return to Nature's because of Lucky Clover? Um, definitely, definitely worried about the five five. I feel like the five five is gonna kill me. I don't know. I don't want to change up the deck too much, though. Come on, we steal a game that we shouldn't have won, and this is how we get rewarded. Instant mold of five. Dead. 
Dang. Lucky Clover's good. Well, I guess we'll have one return to nature. You know, we'll be able to get rid of one Clover. No. That was the worst possible card. Obviously, that just opens up their hand. You know, like they didn't even play a land there. They they didn't even have a land drop, but that just gives them three lands. Now they just have so much mana. I mean, I'm over here with fires of invention, so it's like it's not like I'm playing fair. Alright, I should have played all three Return to Natures, not just two. Because, yeah, Lucky Clover is just really necessary to get rid of. My Mold of Five cannot keep up with this. I don't know if I could have any hands that can keep up with that. Alright, so yeah, getting rid of Lucky Clover looks vital. Okay, let's try this. Now, Bolas is a powerful enough card that can that can allow us to win. Like, we're going to need a lot of power. We're going to need to get just get lucky to win this matchup, to be honest. We're going to need to be lucky, and Bolas is a kind of card that's super powerful. Hmm. Nissa with Flux Channeler. I'll probably keep it. So basically, we're just going to look for lands with with those shimmers. We only look for lands and fires of invention. Those are the, the two things we need. Lands or fires. Anything else I don't care about. Guess I'm taking this thing. It's not the best land. <laughs> hmm. Cinder vines. What's the deal with that? Hey, QQ, good evening. They like throwing down this innkeeper and not getting any value from him.
So obviously I can't play Fires of Invention this turn. It's either play Flux Channeler or Return to Nature, and I guess it's just Return to Nature. Renna too, what's up? does feel like my opponent has, like, last turn they looked like they prioritized holding up two mana. This turn it looks like they're going to prioritize holding up two mana again. It does look like they have, you know, something like an Aether Gust or Return to Nature. Like, um, could be a Counterspell even. Uh, you know, something along those lines. Currently in hand. We just have to cast Nicol Bolas. Because <clears throat> this may be the only time we get to cast it. If they do have a land destruction spell. Or if they do have a... Or sorry, an enchantment destruction spell. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, Brazen Borrower. No Definitely be that. Bone Crusher Giant. Or they could have that. They could have anything. Get Return to Nature, destroy fires. Basically, I'd rather them do that than do something with Nicol Bolas. Crisis. Let your weak minds crumble. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flame. Utterly is the best way to destroy things. Okay. Got that win. Three and one. Ah. Team or proliferate. We were about to do our proliferate stuff. GG's. Yeah, we got Abzan Knights later on. Later on tonight.
that's been pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely feel good. Winning against Lucky Clover. Don't know how many times it's going to happen. So assuming this is assuming this is flash, it's like what card do I want? I kind of feel like this is Simic Flash. I think it's the Flux Channeler. Fires of Invention cast Nicol Bolas. No Nessa, that's good. <clears throat> At least for one turn. Spells over there. Courage is the greatest virtue. I with an mm, a quest of mystery. All spells. So there's Nessa. So we're going to play our own Nyssa, and then be able to play a Tamiyor or a Narset afterwards. Probably Narset. I think we want to go Narset because of Krasis. And, yeah. And then, uh, you know, be able to tick up and have Flux Channeler make our creature a 4-4. As opposed to theirs being a 3-3. Yeah, we're going to play Narset. Oh, this is going to be difficult, though. Man, this could be this could be a pretty crazy turn for us, potentially. Ugh. However, they get to attack, and that's not great. I did pump the land. It's a four-four. Boo. Oh. 
give it plus two, plus zero with the Scions and attack. The Nissa, yeah, I could have done that. I guess I didn't really think of that. So yeah, I don't have, we don't really have a sideboard here. We we're kind of more worried about aggro. Um, yeah, so this is probably just going to be them going over the top of us again. But that's how it is. Is Lava Coil better than Bone Crusher Giant for this matchup? Is Flame Sweep better? Would, yes, Chandra's minus three, but Chandra does other things than just minus three. It's not, it's not like she's useless. I think I would want to add in Chandra. Chandra can kill Nissa. Like we don't have many ways to kill Nissa. Chandra's a way to kill Nissa. Y'all are like take out Chandra. She's useless, and I'm thinking Chandra kills Nissa. That's useful. Is hmm. I think I'll go with that. No, I don't think we cut plain wide. Plain wide's a card that can steal wins for us. Again, they're going to be going over the top of us. We need, like, random cards that can steal wins because this is going to be a tough matchup. So we need, like, our really powerful stuff like plain wide that can do that. This isn't a lower the curve and try to get more consistent kind of matchup at all. Huh. I wasn't really expecting them to have Love Struck Beast. But that's that's a really difficult card for me to deal with. So that's This is not good that they have Love, you know, double Love Struck Beast right away. I don't, I don't really know how I'm beating that to be honest. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. To be double Love Struck Beast. Hmm, that hurts. Intriguing tonight.
Ugh. Ugh. All sorts of other good cards. Yeah, yeah, definitely activating Karn's Bastion, of course. Dang, stop. Strange and magnificent world. Behold, nature's true power. I'm in trouble. That's it? Do they have Ether Gust? I sure hope not. They can't just have Ether Gust also, right? Can't just have it all. It's not allowed. Can't just have it all. Yay, no either gust. For those who are worthy. Play Nissa the next turn you ultimate. I follow the tracks of the wise. Go, Nissa Lands, go! They're indestructible. <laughs> Nicole, who shakes the world. I could definitely lose this game. What's up, Borderin? Like, if they just play a big finale, I lose. Oh, I should have ticked up first with Nissa. Let us have a storied battle. I should have ticked up with Nissa first. I think you will find my notes helpful. Ugin. The land 
They're just chump blocking across the board? There's no way that's the right blocks. So why would they not have their 5-5 five, five block of 4-4? Four, four? Well, if they if they let me kill Nissa, I got to minus eight Nickel Bolas and they die. It's like they they had to block everything because the game the game ended if they let me kill Nissa with the creatures. Thanks, Tiger. Yeah, definitely a big fan of Steely Dan. Give me something good. I guess I could just take the shimmer. The guarantees of playing a spell. I guess it's better than better than drawing a land. Okay. Um the land fights for us. Well, I mean I guess the game's over. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna proliferate Ugin and kill them. Or Nickel Bolas, I mean. Jeez. So that was pretty sweet. That was that was a sweet game. I don't know. I don't think we're getting game three, but that was a pretty sweet game there. That was ideal. Straight line. All right, I'm gonna throw some Love Struck Beast in my deck to try to block their Love Struck Beast. Lando Gardner with the Twitch Prime sub, bringing that hype to the channel. Thank you so much, there, Lando Gardner. Seventh sub of the day. <laughs> it's spicy, but it could be spicier. <laughs> Got to get repeated reverberation in here. That's a good one. I did not think of repeated reverberation. That's a that's a cool one. It's a good one. 
All right, we're going to be looking for fires with Shimmer. No fires. All right, so do I want Royal Scions to drop on turn three and start looking for that? Or Bone Crusher? The, like, basically, they had nothing turn one or two. They probably have Risen Reef turn three, right? So I think I'm going to take the Bone Crusher because they probably have Risen Reef turn three. And we want to kill the Risen Reef. I mean, I wish I could play the Flux, Flux Channeler last turn. Ooh, now I can play it. Or do I just go straight into Tamiyo? Look for fires. Cool. Thanks, MP Late. Yeah, glad you enjoyed the deck. Boom! We did it. Back-to-back -back matchups that I did not think that we were going to be winning, but we did. And we're 4-1. and one. There we go, 4-1. and one. We are on the final boss. Final boss time. Final boss playlist. Let's go. Yeah, it's, you know, we're like two days away from a new set and we're still doing crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, we lost to the flash deck. Yeah. Um, and that was one that I thought that we were going to be winning. Honestly, both games that we lost, I, I was a little surprised. But, you know, on the other hand, I didn't think we were winning either of the, either of the other two. So I can't really complain. Yeah, there you go, Matthew. Playlist gets you hyped for the LSU game in a couple hours. That's going to be an awesome game. What if we keep? We have to have a land in the top three cards. We draw. We scry. We have to have a land in the top three cards, but as long as we do... Sounds pretty awesome. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get the hype in the chat. Aragon John. Thanks, Aragon John. Well, we only need one land because then Shimmer Shimmer is another like these these just get us more lands. Right? Like these are just lands. But they just cost it's like two mana grab a land. Um House hunting very yes, very successful. Yep, found the house that I want. And everything. Um Basically, the only reason why I kind of want to keep this is because of fires, but we'll ship it back. Hmm. I may have put back the beacon. Uh, and then, yeah, the MCQ... Um, that is up on YouTube, if you didn't check that out. Yep, that, that video is up on YouTube right now. Oh, The Rock did a hype video for LSU? Yeah, it does sound, I bet that was amazing.
So this certainly looks like a you know an aggressive deck. Where I'm gonna just take another interplanar beacon instead of grabbing another Narset. Now we just need our proliferate stuff. Hmm. Giving Reaper that life link. We had something that had a little bit of removal, which we will next turn. I appreciate clean victories. Mm, a quest of mystery. That card's good. So do I minus three the Chandra? And let them draw three cards. Or do I minus two? I think I minus two. Exile the Reaper. Do I want to shock? If I shock... If I shock, I can have a blocker, so we might as well. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Glad I can help with Crazy Pyro. Fire problem. Thirty months. So many months. Thanks, Crazy Pyro. Be wary of the ground to walk on. <laughs> Breeding Fool, yeah, Breeding Fool does have a really gross uh, sound effect. Oh no, now I only have four lands. Oh, I can still play. No, I can't play Nicol Bolas because of the triple black. What? Please do that. Yes, I like it. Do that. Do it. No, what are you doing? No, attack Nissa. No, boo. That's a good card. We'll remake the multiverse in my image. It's definitely considering just, you know, making another 3 3 with Nicol Bolas, but with us knowing the top card being this copy of Stomp. Hmm. So am I killing Blacklands Paragon or Knight of the Ebon Legion? The thing about killing... So obviously, you know, you kind of think like, well, of course you're supposed to kill Knight. 
But the thing about killing Knight is if they have if this other card's removal for Temple, they get to kill Temple, and now they have five power that they get to you know like kill Nicol Bolas. Um, where if I kill Black Lance Paragon, if they use removal on my three three, they don't get to activate Knight. You know, like or I'm blocking the Knight, and then they have to like spend all their mana on it, and that wastes their turn. I honestly think that I'm not losing to this Knight. I think that the the way that I lose this the easiest is. They kill Temple. Like, I don't think this knight's going to beat me at all. I'm not concerned about it. They have three mana. They want to, If they wanted to spend all three mana every turn activating this knight, that's cool. I'll win. I was hoping to, to draw, like, Flux Channeler first. My intellect is without limit. Those who cannot perceive the thoughtfulness before action. Silly Bone Crusher Giant. Every single person in chat said to kill Knight of the Evan Legion. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. It was like, killing Knight of the Evan Legion was like the... Like the... The play that seemed like what you're supposed to be doing. Dang. I was like, well, we just put four spells down at the bottom. Or like, we just put, you know, a bunch of things like, Narset didn't find anything last time. Should be able to finish this one out. All these indestructible lands. No, in our set. I mean, I guess, I don't know if their plan is to give this thing Death Touch. Doesn't sound like the best plan. Yeah, this is my final boss playlist, which you can find by typing in boss playlist. Yeah, the reason why I minused Narset before 
uh, ulting Nissa the previous turn is because we just minus Narset and put a bunch of cards that we're not going to be grabbing from it. I, th I thought that we'd have a spell there to grab, but we didn't. So mono black knights. Do I want love struck beasts also against mono black knights? Probably. Which unfortunately means that you know with us bringing in all these flame sweeps, I think we just trim the the flux channelers, even though they're really cool. Take a lot of the cool cards out of the deck. I know, Flux Channeler, no. Face Gruel. Yeah, we fight, or I guess it was teamer for so we played this deck mono black knights the teamer clover um simic ramp um is it flash and then two other kind of weaker decks like more beginner type decks Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we could do mono black crisis and standard. Yeah, bring back chromatic black. Yeah. Yeah, they had multiple main deck thought distortions, right? There was two of them. I think last, last game. Yeah, we're playing Team Rebolos right now. I guess also with the the new three mana Dryad, uh, with the Dryad, you can you'll basically be able to play whatever you want. You know, just play five colors super easily. It's already easy with Fires of Invention, but if you go Fires and Dryad. Why am I keeping this hand? Because I have temples. Okay. I guess that's why we're keeping it, because we've got temples. Sure. What? What is this? Give your creatures haste? That's kind of cool. cool untap land yeah So I can have Nissa and Sarka next turn. Ooh. 
fight with the dragon's rage. All right, so I should be able to win next turn. My schemes are never I can play plain white celebration and pro proliferate up the Nicol Bolas and win. Oh no, they drew the third land, so now they'll probably kill Nicol Bolas. No. Ooh. All right, it'll take a little bit longer. So we'll, we'll bring back Bolos and proliferate three times. Tamio can get back my celebration. Also. Give us back. I mean, I guess I could have just, just ultimated the, the Nissa immediately. Also. Like, I didn't need to tick up Nessa. I could have just ulted Nessa. More dragons. Every turn a dragon. <laughs> Every turn a dragon. Just like how we're a dragon this game out. Canary is pretty cool. So I guess they'd rather just draw a card than have the Order of Midnight. Because, I mean, the Order of Midnight can't block anyway. Can't attack, can't block. So, yeah, might as well just draw a card instead. And one. Yeah, poor opponent. They got stuck on lands both games. You know, the first game, they only had three lands the whole time. Wait, do they still have 57 cards in their library? Okay. Final boss defeated. And we get all this gold. Five and one. Boom. 60 gems, 2100 gold. All right. Got the five and one with uh, Teamer Proliferate.
did face a couple of, you know, a couple easy decks in there, but, um, you know, still got to do our thing. Uh, this deck was definitely fun to play. Flux Channeler was a lot of fun. You know, like Flux Channeler plus Planeswalkers. That, that was definitely fun. Um, yeah, there's some of those I wasn't expecting us to do as well. Um, but we did. So there we go. Flux Channeler. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to really say about the about the deck. Um because other questions, should I be playing events? I mean, the events are are easier than ranked overall. And so, like, if you want to just, you know, if you want to just grind gold and get get more gold to be able to buy more packs and more cards and stuff, events is is a lot more profitable than playing ranked. Because ranked, you only get the rewards at the end of the season, which is incredibly small compared to what you can get if you just play in the events. Um, other question: When you get gems instead of cards, yeah, if. If you have four of the card that you would have gotten, then you get gems instead. All right. Yeah, there you go, Candice. Yeah, the fun deck. Definitely. Okay. Uh, team or Proliferate. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, leave those comments over there. Um, you know, yeah, leave the comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and Flux Channeler, all that kind of stuff. Also, you know, you can you know feel free to talk about uh, Theros in the comment section. What, uh, what cards do you want to see me build around? For Theros uh, Beyond Death, it's coming out here later on in the week. Also hit that like button, but thank you so much for watching. Some team are proliferate, and I'll see you for the next video.